Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Galaxy of Pen and Paper. We did all the character creation, the party creation, all that stuff in the last episode. I made it a little bit of a shorter episode because then a lot of people don't like to see that. Sometimes they'll skip it all together and they just want to see some gameplay. So, let's hop in and do some gameplay stuff. Hey, Wombat Willy, Booger Brain, I can see you guys now. Everyone, looking good. So, we're playing a sci-fi setting this time? Yep. This is a new system by Cosmos Publishing. DERPS. It stands for Digital Universe... <laughs> DERPS. Digital Universe uh, Role-Playing Spiel. Spiel? Cosmos Publishing is German. Anyway, everybody ready to blast into space? I was born ready, Chimera. Okay, exactly a thousand years into the future, the year is 2999. Dun-dun-dun! We have reached the final frontier. Space. You live in Tanton. I don't know why I'm talking in a like, really deep male voice when it's a female uh, GM, but it's fine. A sand planet located on Le Guin system. Yeah. Anywhere you look, tall sand dunes stretch as far as your eyes can see. Oh. Cool. I like all this stuff. Yes, there's a sand pod there. That might be like Voltron or something. There's the Statue of Liberty from the Planet of the Apes. They did well. Is that a Death Star, maybe? A disco ball or something. I don't I don't know. There's a, the, a space bus thing there. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of things I'm totally missing. Is that... Is that, um... Fire-headed guy... Uh, it's not Knight Rider. It's... Uh, something else. One of the, I don't know, the one with Nicolas Cage. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, that bike. Good stuff. Maybe it's Hell Rider. I, I don't know. Demon Rider. Demon Face. I, anyway, you guys live in uh, the Tantons ship graveyard. Hey, I'm going to work. Do you want anything from. What's with that getup? I call this method game running. You know, that'll be for nothing if you haven't studied the core book, right? <laughs> what kind of third rank GM do you take me for? Alright, alright. I'll leave you to your game. Okay, bye mom. Love you back to Thanton finally. <clears throat> you live on Tanton's ship graveyard. You sold all your stuff to buy a spaceship from Vestro, a local used spaceship dealer. Unfortunately, you didn't read the fine print when you signed the contract. You are now bound to Vestro until you pay him one bajillion credits. What a rat! Hey, doofuses! Insectoids hold up inside the storage. They refuse to pay rent, so uh, kick them out. Vesto orders you guys to kick out the Mothoids in his storage. What do you say? We'll squash them. Power. Why are the Insectoids in your storage? We could use Mind or Power. We're going to use Power. We want Wombat Willy to be the dominant one of these two. Cool. You get a bonus. Uh, you get bonus Interpretation XP. Okay. Now Vesto says, Don't mock me, you big brood, or I'll increase your debt. Who mocked anyone here? Mission start. It had to start on a sand planet. Clear Vestro's stored shed from invading insectoids who don't pay rent. Alright. Boxes of bits and pieces of spaceship parts are piled around Vestro's storage shed. You soon come across the insectoid intruders. A bunch of mothoids! That's hilarious. Bzz. Whoa, hey, listen to them. They're barking at us, guys and gals. Apparently, they're dog moths. Who knew that would be a thing? Bzz. Hey, keep quiet. We're sleeping here. Bzz. You find the intruding insectoids, what do you do? Let's squash these bugs. Why are you here? Squash. Bzz. We'll take care of you. Then we'll feed on your clothes. That's, that's far less menacing than it could have been. Bzz. Defeat three Mothoids to continue your mission. Alright, create ground combat. Huh. A Mothoid. Enemies left three. Blah, 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 blah. A bunch of important stats that I should totally pay attention to. 
The moth-like insectoid alien is too lazy to fully emerge from its chrysalis, so it just stays there forever. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna go with, uh, yeah. Four? Maybe, maybe, maybe we can get away with four? I don't know, we're gonna try it. All right, let's give it a shot. I have no idea what our power is like right now, so we could absolutely get wrecked. Oh, I love it. They drop in like little... That's awesome. Derp's combat is pretty simple. Wait for your turn, click an available action, and choose your target. Wondering what to do now? Attack, skills, strategy, actions, items. It's your move. Sweet. What do we have here? Attack. Perform an attack with your weapon dealing 7 to 10 damage. That's underwhelming. Uh, forced slowdown deals 12 to 15 damage, applies slow status, and raises your threat. Also seems bad. Uh, unit is delayed, only happens once per turn. What do we have here? Change ally. Change your target's front and back line and reduces its threat. Huh. Change enemy, changes your target's front and back line. Weird. And use items and strategy. Okay. Well, I think, um, yeah, no, we're gonna just punch this guy in the face. Mildly impressive, but a little underwhelming as well. Alright, so we have an attack, 14 to 20 damage, a whole bunch more. We can change allies, change enemies, and we can use items. Alright, I think I'm going to punch this guy in the face, and he dodged it. Because of course he did, he's hanging from a freaking thing. You have kinetic shields on, as long as they are up, your HP won't be affected by most attacks. Shields partially regenerate every turn. Be careful, I can't guarantee your safety without them. Oh, so our shields are right there. That's kind of cool. We're kind of getting wrecked, though. I'm also not enjoying that very much. Alright, we're going to punch you in the face. Take you out of the fight. Okay, they're really focusing heavily on our boy. So we can't actually... There we go, we dropped a fool. No! Focus him! Stop hitting me! I'm a delicate flower. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh, he crit me. I don't. I don't know if I like that very much. I'm gonna shoot you down, though. All right. So we're on the back line now. Can we attack from the back line? Oh, we totally can. Why wasn't he back there at the beginning? That made so much more sense. And we said good day, sir. All right. So we healed up a little bit. We did get hurt. Victory, we got 15 coins, 72 experience. We can click to continue. I like the fact that when we have a victory screen, it's giant, it's shiny, it plays a sound music. A lot of games as of late, or we'll say over the past few years, when you get like a victory, like, oh, you did something great. It's just like, yeah, whatever, you know. Okay, just continue on, business as usual. I want to see like explosions, like fireworks going off, loud noises. I want to see big bright lights flashing. I want to see that I've accomplished something. Like, level up should be huge. Victory in battle should be huge. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Fine, we'll leave. Hope you're happy with yourselves, you bzzz home wreckers. The Mothoids uh, wiggle out of the storage, rolling down a sand dune that's probably scorching hot. Not the brightest ones in the hive, huh? Let's tell Vestro we're finished here. The Mothoids are gone. Good. You got some credits from them, eh? I'll take those to help pay your debt. See, I'm only looking out for you fools. <laughs> uh, Vestra takes the money you got from beating the Mothwins. What do you say? We'll be free of you one day. Wh what? Nonsense! You'll stay under my thumbs for as long as I need you. Okay, I'll show you how nice I am. I'll cancel your contract if you ever get a hold of your, a spaceship of your own. Don't you own all the spaceships around here? Oh, that's right, I do. <laughs> I hate this guy. That night, you notice a star that shines brighter than the other stars in the dark sky. Someday we'll be exploring those mysterious stars, I hope. Yeah, mission complete. It had to start on a sand planet. Of Tatooine. No, not Tatooine. Alright, we got three rat burgers, yummy, 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 and two distilled water. 
And apparently we've completely recovered from that. And we leveled up! What? What's this? Team formation. Change your teams of battle formation. What does this say? What's this now? Minus 10 threat. Stand on the back line. Yeah, that's no, that's fine. And Tam oh, yeah, okay, it's good. I like it. Mission creation. Create a new mission, or maybe we can level up. We have skills. Do we have things? What are these? Reputation. We have some money. It says that we can unlock stuff. And that requires those things. Oh, they're right there. I'm like, how many skill points are like, what are those things and how many do we have? He's only got two. He's got four. Okay. And right now, what is this one? That's blank, I'm guessing. So we got a charged attack, change ally, change enemy. Combat sovereignty applies mark status and deals 21 to 26 damage to your target. If your target has stun status, double the damage dealt. Wow, that's mildly impressive. Out loud. Uh, 31, 38 to your target applies high threat to yourself. Ooh, I like that. Body slam deals 17 to 20 and raises your threat. Your target is marked. Status, uh, raise your dodge chance by 10%. First attack deals 21 to 26 damage to your target and its adjacent enemies. That's pretty legit too. Applies the mark status to all enemies, but it doesn't do damage. Huh. Well, this is interesting. I, I gotta say, I like this so far. Small health pack. Uh, heals 23 to 28 of your target's HP. Exceeding heal does not recover... Exceeding heal does not recover shields. Okay. So these are a lot of support things that we can do here. Your attacks are critical strikes if your target has the mark status. Oh, is that a passive? It is a passive. <gasps> That's impressive. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the combat sovereignty. I'm going to start with that bad boy. We're going to unlock it. Yes, I do wish to unlock it. I'd like to move it here. And then we'll just roll with that. That should be fine. Alright, next up. What's this? Iron wheel passive raises your HP by 20% and your dodge by 5. That's fairly legit. Bit expensive though. Can't afford it yet. Almighty power your attacks deal 6 to 7. It's passive too. Extra damage if your target is stunned. What's this? First aid. Uh, let's see. Heals 50 to 61 divided between you and your target. Can be cast on yourself for extra healing. Uh, it says class 4 SP, class 6 SP. Can I actually learn that right now? Looks like I can, maybe. Yeah, I want to unlock that skill. That sounds amazing. Why would I not want to do that? Okay, so there we go. Oops, sorry. Back to the game. Alright, so now I guess we create a new mission. I was kind of hoping that there would be like a, a, a somewhat like a follow the narrative that we need to do, but apparently it's not in the cards right now. It's okay. Abductees, what? Choosing mission type and type mission giver and setting, you can create all sorts of adventures. Okay, let's see what we can come up with. What are abductees? I don't know. That's exciting, though. I want to. I want to. I want to know what that is. Campaign quest. Okay, so this is how the campaign quest is going to. Fall. All right, I like that. The journey continues. The space plot thickens. Okay, we will get twenty more rep. The following day, Vestro shows up again. Let's see, that NTE protector you uh, could use a good scrubbing. Uh, help! S somebody help! Some guy wrapped in a towel is screaming for help. What will you do? I'll give him a headlock. Tell us what happened. So, so someone's sanding s s sand raiders to, to take over Crazy Camel. S sending what? Blast it. That's bad for business. All right, Kent. I'll lend you my private soldiers. For a price, of course. Uh, f f fine. Escort Mr. Kent back to the crazy camel and take care of those sand readers. You can take that ATV we scavenged last week. Wait, wait, wait. Why in the verse is the town called Crazy Camel? It's a long story. 
You, you don't want to know. Trust me. In fact, let's just just go. I'd rather face raiders than think about it. Mr. Kent has joined the party. Yeah, mission start. The trouble with sand raiders. Escort Mr. Kent back to the crazy camel and investigate the town's situation. Oh, we have all sorts of new things. Cool, what's this? Trouble with sand raiders. Escort them there. What's this? Create battle. Create your own battle scenarios with available foes. Planetary travel. Access the planetary map to explore the planet. <gasps> That's so cool! I love everything about this! Oh, we can explore this one? Oh, yes. What is this? Oh, that's the trouble with Sand Raiders. All right, well, whatever. We'll do this one. It's kind of our story mission, so let's, uh, let's go. The dusty, hot town of Crazy Camel is famous for its cantinas filled by all kinds of weirdos. Some Sand Raiders approach you guys as soon as you get there. Hey! You must pay an entry toll if you want to visit the crazy camel orders of Lord Ginormous. Ginormous? Ginormous. But, but, but I, I, I live here. Hey, making excuses not to pay? We'll just confiscate your stuff then. <gasps> How knows? Wow, this, this very much feels like those dreams where you're naked in cyber school. But in, in real and in, 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 in Paris scene life. Naked Mr. Kent dashes off like there's no tomorrow. That was very mean, you nasty bullies. <laughs> hey, don't try to distract me. You all need to pay too. The Sand Raiders demand an entry fee. What's your next action? What are you doing? We'll pay in punches. Hey, you want to play it tough, you punks? All right. Hey, we can play tough. Defeat Sand Raiders times five. That seems easy enough. Let's just uh, ooh, okay, L less easy, less easy. Let's 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 just fight one for now. See how we do, and then we'll jump in and we'll battle some more. All right, we're here, we're ready, and you're going down like a sweet muffin. Get slowed. Oh yeah, we got through a shield that time around. All right, can we do like a super mega? Hey, I moved this. Why didn't it move? Oh, what's this? We can wait. We can change our formation. And we can try to flee. Huh. Neat. I mean, we're gonna kill him. Eh, whatever. Let's just mark him. Victory! We could probably do two. It may be painful and satisfying, though. All right, well, we're gonna do one of you. Oh, what are these? Those are the only things that we know about, huh? A creature made out of oil created by a ginormous, technically a zombie since petroleum comes from fossils? That's funny. All right, we'll fight two of you guys. All righty, what do we got for ya? Do a slow attack there, and bam, we've added some threat to ourselves. He done got shot in the face, not great for him. That's okay, because we have marked our opponent and stopped him. Alright, let's go ahead and punch, or clobber, I guess. Oh, he decided to move. He's like, uh uh, not this time, buddy. Rat tap bang, and. Let's so we can go with another slowing attack. Might be enough to take him all the way out of the fight. There it is. Nailed it! And we still have two more that we have to get through. Alright, let's go ahead and add them together. And let's take this on and finish it up. Alright, so it looks like we get to act backed. Backed to backed. Free skill used? Oh, cool. All right, I'm gonna use my charge attack. See if I can't blow through his entire, uh... Yeah, I can, cool. All right, what do you got for me? I'm gonna shoot him, that's never gonna work. Punch you once, punch you twice. Good day, sir. All right, the triggered heal is healed and triggered, and we did it. 
Lord Ginormous will have our hides for this. An armored figure appears. No, he won't. Because you'll all be in jail. Space police isn't any better, you know. I'm Val Parsec of Nebula Command, soldiers. I'll handle the situation now. You're relieved of your duties. Val drags the Sand Raiders away as she goes looking for more troublemakers. Mr. Kent returns. Whew! I think I managed to call Nebula Command to hate us. I even had time to go home and get a fresh new towel. Why don't you just get, like, properly dressed? Quit judging my fashion sense. Well, have you know, my towel collection is nothing short of impressive. Anyways, thanks for your help. Things are looking up around Crazy Camel. Mr. Kent leaves. Uh, hope we'll put on some pants now. Uh, at least acquiring trousers is easier than getting off this dusty rock. Mission complete. The trouble with Sand Raiders. Hey, we got one unexplained device. It revives a fallen character and heals half of its HP. I like it. It's a Dragon Ball. Yes, it's perfect. Oh, it's so good. Hey, we leveled up again. Sweet. All right, level up. A Wombat Willy got himself um, actually 19 shields. So five to his shield. He got some more HP. Nine to his HP. Two more to his SP, and his damage went up by one on the low and high side. And his shield regen is three now, as opposed to two. Cool. I'm a fan of every single one of those things. I don't know why our skills didn't stay in the right order that they were in. But that's fine. We only have one point. Pulls your target to the front and deals damage. Oh, that's cool. Pushes them to the back and deals damage. Uh, raises our SP and raises our initiative. Eh. I'm fine with this. And then our, our booger-brained buddy here. He's got uh, six more to his shield. Eh, what was that? Six more to his uh, HP. He's got four more to his SP. His damage went up one on the low and one on the high. Shield regen's up to five, though, so that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to just skip his one-offs right now as well. Should be fine. All right. Still like to... Space talk. Uh, talk to nearby planet dwellers. Let's do that. Your adventurer is on to you. It must be so nice, that. Discovering the wonders and secrets of the verse and its peoples. It is. Why don't you try it too? Me? Oh, I don't know. It looks very dangerous. Well, yeah, th there's danger involved. But you can take it easy at first. You don't need to take everything in at once. Actually, you're right. I can go in adventures. I would say on adventures, but fine. I will sell my possessions and buy a ship. Hey, uh, um, don't go overbook. I, Rufus, will discover all the secrets the verse has to offer. He runs off excitedly. Oh, well, there's someone easily excitable. Well, uh, good luck to him, I guess. Hopefully we'll meet again. Weird and cool so far. I've enjoyed my time. I think we're going to break it off a little bit early this time around, guys and gals, before we hop in and we do some more uh, battleations and more battles and whatnot. But yeah, this is the gameplay and such in a nutshell. I'm sure there's going to be tons more to come. We'll definitely... Well, I'm assuming I could be totally wrong. I don't want to say definitely, but... I'm pretty sure we're going to get more people to join the group, as you saw with the uh, formation thing here. There are a lot of spaces, so I assume that at some point we can have up to six people. Which will be pretty darn cool. All that... Oh, wait, 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 before we leave. Uh, let's see, shop, buy gadgets, consumables, and ship equipment. Alright, so we have that. Let's see what gadgets are. We can buy a scientist suit. A home-knit cap. A UVB protection shield, raises your shield by 9, and a cyber screwdriver, raises your shield regen by 3, and then there's some miscellaneous, Tantan's hot coffee, organic coffee, it takes a few seconds to boil under the Tantan's hot sun, which you can't see, but boy, is it hot. That's, that's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool, and how much does that cost? A hundred. What does it do? just a thing, I guess. It doesn't really say. Uh, okay, that's well, fine. 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Until the very next one, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>